Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are doing our MTG keywords and looking at gift this time. Uh, so what is gift? This is another ability word that was recently released in Bloomboro. I really love Bloomboro. I think mechanically, the art and the concept I love, but also mechanically, they just knocked it out of the park on that one. So yeah, we already covered expend and now we're covering gift from that because I do, I think they're just great mechanics. You can really kind of throw these into any deck in their benefit. So this is an optional ability that gives you a benefit for promising a gift to another player. Obviously this is better in multiplayer than two players. So there's, yeah, the one kind of hold up point for this. This is very much an ability that works well in multiplayer, right? You're basically going to give one other player something and you get an added bonus. So yeah. It, it, if you have to give it to your only opponent, that's not so good, obviously. But yeah, in games like Commander, where you, if you can start helping out the person who's maybe a bit behind in the game, that just, I think, evens out the board a lot and can make it a lot more competitive for everyone. It's a very nice little thing. So I recently had an issue with posting a card uh, online on the Budget Magic Facebook group, where a person said that the gift was given first. Uh, so, yeah, this the order is very important because, yeah, if you get, if the, you have to give the gift right away, if they get a card, let's say, yeah, they draw a counter spell with that card and then they use that counter spell to counter the spell that let them draw the card. MTG does have like weird kind of timing things like that where it seems like it shouldn't really be possible, but because of the stack it is, but. It's a, uh, yeah, that, that is not accurate actually. Um, I think there are always like, you gotta look at more than one thing to find like rulings, especially go to like the gatherer website if you wanna find like the reliable things because that is the official one. I think there's a lot of like, if you read, you know, a Reddit or something, there's gonna be a lot of like misinformation there. But anyway, uh, so yeah, this was mistaken. The gift is only given after the uh, spell's other effects are resolved. So whether it's a permanent, the permanent is on the battlefield, everything it's done, right? Before uh, before the gift, the gift is promised, so you decide whether you're gonna give the gift. They don't actually get the gift until everything else is done. So yeah, basically everything is supposed to resolve at the same time, right? It's not like you, they get the gift and then they can counter the thing, no. they. They can't counter it after they get the gift because the gift comes right at the end. Basically all the effects come right at the end. But anyway. Sound familiar. So this mechanic is similar to Kicker. I know Lean Take, right? This is like, oh yeah, everything is Kicker. Good job, Joe. But let's, uh, yeah. Like Kicker, you may choose to do this for an additional cost or modified effect, which is, a lot of mechanics I know, but yeah, this is an inter interesting version of additional cost. Instead of the standard you pay extra, it just directly benefits your opponent. So it kind of cuts out the middleman rather than you paying extra and you getting the extra effect and then not being able to do something else and then that helps your opponent in a way. It just gives something to your opponent right away. Like it, it almost simplifies it in a way, but yeah. This is actually better because you can help balance the, the, out the game in, in another way. So it is a way to just like start if they you, know, you got the one player usually, especially in Commander. There's going to be one player that's behind and you can start helping that player out. And then it, it's going to even out the game a lot more than like, frankly, a lot of other things usually that usually don't work. You try to even things out and it doesn't work. That will actually work, I think. Oh, right. So, yeah. It's all kicker. Always has been. Um, my camera's in the way, but yeah. If you haven't seen this astronaut meme about everything being kicker. And yeah, if you look at pretty much any mechanic, you can say, oh, that is another version of kicker. Like, there's so many mechanics that you can just say, hey, that's kicker. Uh, uh, it's a bad comparison to make, but anyway. All right, here. Oh, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps a lot. Also, if you have any suggestions, I would really appreciate it because like, 
I feel like I've been doing this, I'm kind of treading water right now, like trying to get more people watching. It seems like the views keep dropping ever since I took some advice from another channel about how to increase viewers and that led to my viewers just dropping sharply. So I'm hoping I can fix that up again or I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Honorable mentions. Okay, mine spiral for four and a blue, not cheap for a sorcery. Gift a tap fish. Gifting a tapped 1-1 one, one is really not a big deal. Target player draws three cards. If the gift was pro uh, was promised, tap target creature and opponent controls, put a stun counter on it. So you're gonna draw three, and then put tap and put a stun counter on a creature your opponent controls. Um, that is a lot of work. It does cost five CMC, but it's three cards drawn and like tap down. It's a weird combination, but it's really good. Anyway, one cent only. Wear down. This was actually I had it on a list of my like favorite new budget removal. Uh, one in a green for a sorcery. That right there is most people's problem is the sorcery speed, and yeah, that's a downer. But for what it does, let's take a look. You can gift a card, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Uh, if the gift is promised, instead destroy two target artifacts and or enchantments. So this is two mana that can blow up two things. Um, I think that's really good. Even at sorcery speed, it's worth having, you know, as an option. Um, anyway, 17 cents. And Nocturnal Hunger is two and a black. You can gift a food. Um, destroy a target creature. If the gift was promised, you lose, or sorry, if the gift wasn't promised, you lose two life. So it's a removal spell for a creature that you can also, like, throw someone, uh, Throw someone some food, and if you don't want to do that, just pay two life. Number five. Okay, Long River's Pull. This is two blue for an instant. You can gift a card. Uh, counter target creature spell. If that gift was promised, and said counter target spell. So this is a counter spell, obviously. You can use it for creatures. For two mana, not bad, right? Creature, I think you can usually uh, find a creature you want to counter. But if you want to be more flexible, no problem, you can do that too. It can just be a regular counter spell by gifting a card. Uh, a lot of times when you I suggest something like this, people often go like, counter spell is better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. You don't want to replace the counter spell with this. You want to run both of them. Okay? I'm not suggesting... No, no more counter spell. Only use Long River's Pull. No. Anyway, uh, 18 cents. Number four. Parting Gust. Two white for an instant. You can gift a tap fish this time. Gifting a tap fish is just like the most, I don't know, harmless option. Gifting a card, you're like, am I gonna regret this? Gifting a tap fish, you're like, that's kind of funny almost. But anyway. Uh, I had this on another list, I thought, yeah, this is really hilarious, but anyway. XL target non-token creature. If the gift wasn't promised, return that creature to the battlefield under Sona's control with the plus one plus one counter on it at the beginning of the next end step. So basically, if you don't give the gift, you can cast this on anything, including your own things, and flicker them, right? They're gonna leave, they're gonna come straight back, and then get a plus one plus one on top of that. So it's a nice little effect. Um, uh, any deck where you're looking for flickers or anything like that, this will do the job. And if you do uh, gift someone a fish, which is like, who cares, you exile. You just exile that thing and it's gone. So yeah, this is, I especially think this is funny in Commander because you're gonna exile someone's Commander and like gift them a fish. Um, that's so kind of rude. I think exiling is better, but anyway, 40 cents. Number three, okay, Peerless Recycling. For one and a green this time, an instant, gift a card. So it is a card again. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Pretty standard green recursion effect, right? You take one thing out of your graveyard, put it in your hand. It's always nice to have. If the gift was promised, instead, return two target permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. That's getting crazy. Again, recursion I think is better than card draw, 
Again, you gotta wait until there's actually stuff in your graveyard, which is the downside, and maybe your gra graveyard is getting exiled or something. So there's risks involved, but you're gonna get two of whatever you want, and the things that get sent to your graveyard are things that people want in your graveyard. They wanna take it off the battlefield. That's why it's in the graveyard, right? So, where I feel like, uh, you know, every card draw is like, hey, you have no idea what you're getting, pulling things out of your graveyard. You get exactly what you want, and it's something that they usually don't want on the battlefield. I think it is just so much better. Anyway, 15 cents. Number two. Okay, Scrap Shooter. I actually didn't have this on my uh, removal list before I probably should have. It's This is incredible. Uh, one green green. So it's three mana for a four four with reach. A four four with reach for three mana. You're doing two green mana. That's kind of a downside, but oh my gosh. Three mana for a four four with reach is already very good and if you gift a card when it enters destroy target uh artifact or enchantment in opponent controls also artifact enchantment removal um that's really the removal i always look for because you can't take creatures you can take out in battle you can do all kinds of things you can do damage you can whatever artifact enchantments they're the things that are going to be like a real thorn in your side and you can't just like attack them with a creature or something right yeah, it's just so much better. Anyway, 31 cents. Number one. Starfall Invocation. So, three white white. This is a board wipe. Um, sorcery, of course. Um, <clears throat> you can gift a card. Destroy all creatures. If the gift was promised, return a creature card from your graveyard to... Uh, a creature card put into the graveyard this way for, to your hand. So it does have to be a creature card that was taken out by this effect. It can't just be any creature card in your graveyard. It does have to be one of the cards that you put into the graveyard because of this effect. But things like your commander or maybe even just things with like good death triggers or entering triggers, you can really take advantage of that, right? You can basically just go, okay, now it's right back. Back to hand, back to the battlefield, done. Um, it is a very nice effect that is abusable in a lot of decks, so yeah. For a commander, maybe you just don't even want your commander um, off the battlefield as the downside there. Maybe, unless you have some kind of entering or some kind of value out of your a commander going to the graveyard and then coming back out again, you probably don't even want to do that. Slash the ranks, something like that where it doesn't take your commander out, is probably better, but this does destroy everything except for you know that one thing you're going to put back out so even get like haste or something a haste creature you can get a free shot in at least anyway 94 cents the list okay long rivers pull 18 cents parting gust 40 cents Peerless Recycling, 15 cents. Scrap Shooters, 31 cents only. Starfall Invocation, 94 cents. Scrap Shooter, I swear, that one is crazy. Get it? Well, it's cheap. I'm, I have like four to my basket right now. Anyway, take it easy.